The legendary actress Dame Diana Rigg recently passed away after a storied career on stage and screen. But her final months were filled with intense suffering, as reported by her daughter, Rachel Sterling. Rigg also became an outspoken advocate for assisted dying in her final weeks. Join Facts First as we explore her wrenching end-of-life ordeal. A Formidable Acting Career Diana Rigg began her illustrious acting career on stage, training at the prestigious Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in the mid-1950s, alongside future stars like Glenda Jackson and Sean Phillips. She cut her teeth with the revered Royal Shakespeare Company in 1959, spending eight years honing her craft. Her big break came when she was cast as secret agent Emma Peel in the 1960s British spy series The Avengers, opposite Patrick McNee. Although instantly hesitant about moving from classical theater to television, Rigg brought her pedigree to the part and turned Emma Peel into an icon of feminine power and independence. Clad in a, quote, kinky boots, leather cat suit, Rigg's Mrs. Peel radiated intelligence, style, and strength in equal measure. She pioneered a new type of sexy yet cerebral leading lady on screen. In perhaps her most famous film role, Riggs starred as Tracy Bond opposite one-time James Bond actor George Lazenby in On Her Majesty's Secret Service in 1969. As the only woman to capture 007's heart enough to accept a proposal, Rig imbued Tracy with resilience, vulnerability, and sophistication. Throughout her career, Rig continued to shine in films as varied as The Assassination Bureau, Theater of Blood, The Great Muppet Caper, and Evil Under the Sun. Rig was renowned as one of the finest stage actresses of her generation. She earned three Tony Award nominations, winning Best Actress for playing the title role of Medea in 1994. Rig stunned Broadway audiences by unabashedly appearing nude with co-star Keith Mitchell in Abelard and Heloise in 1971, at a time when onstage nudity was highly controversial. Later in her career, Rig won over a new generation of fans as the cunning Queen of Thorns, Elena Tyrell, on Game of Thrones. She repeatedly stole scenes with her barbed one-liners and regal screen presence. Off-camera, Rig alternately mentored and terrified directors with her exacting standards. Her work on the hit series scored four Emmy nominations for Outstanding Guest Actress, garnering critical praise. Rig's impressive range, technical skill, and charisma allowed her to inhabit an incredible diversity of roles across all artistic mediums over a half-century career. Advocating for Assisted Dying In the final months of her life, Diana Rigg became an ardent advocate for legalizing assisted dying in the UK. When she was diagnosed with cancer earlier in 2020 and given only months to live, she began speaking out fervently in support of giving terminal patients the right to end their lives on their own terms. Having prided herself on being outspoken throughout her career, whether protesting war or inequality, Rigg brought the same conviction to calling for assisted dying reform. She was incensed by the utter lack of personal autonomy faced by dying individuals like herself under current British law. Rigg felt the legal system cruelly forced terminal patients to endure needless physical and emotional suffering against their will at the end of their lives. From Rigg's perspective, the ability to voluntarily end unbearable pain and loss of dignity through assisted dying represented the ultimate human right to control one's own body and mortality. She believed mature adults deserved authority over the manner and timing of their deaths, especially when escaping relentless anguish. Rigg considered laws prohibiting assisted dying to be an unacceptable infringement on personal liberty. With her trademark eloquence, she recorded impassioned statements on assisted dying intended for posthumous release. She movingly described wanting to simply beam herself off this mortal coil to escape the horrors of advanced cancer. Riggs' words channeled a lifetime of strength and self-determination into advocating that others should have the quick and peaceful death she longed for herself. Rig also detailed the appalling indignities she was undergoing, from reliance on adult diapers to her daughter bathing her like a child. She raged at the injustice of seeing her once formidable self reduced to such humiliation while being denied any legal recourse. 
Rig blazed with defiance at the UK robbing dying citizens of their basic dignity by criminalizing assisted euthanasia. Right until the end, Diana Rigg demanded the autonomy she had always possessed be extended to choosing when and how to exit from unbearable terminal illness. With composed ferocity, she asserted that human beings deserved to depart life on their own terms rather than subject to arbitrary suffering imposed by an indifferent system. Harsh Realities in Her Final Days in the final months of life, she endured excruciating physical hardships that reveal the grim truths of living with terminal cancer. Her rapid bodily deterioration and resulting anguish were detailed unsparingly by her daughter, Rachel Sterling, who provided devoted end-of-life care. The cancer and treatments ravaged Riggs' once formidable constitution. Her mouth was cracked and ulcerated, the pain so intense that even numbing gel provided little relief. Dehydration left her tongue parched and lips dry no matter how much she drank. Her skeletal frame protruded under translucent skin as she lost all appetite and stopped eating. Her loss of bowel control humiliated and depressed her, eliminating the most basic adult dignity. Lacking the strength for a shower, Rig had to suffer the indignity of being bathed by her daughter. The bone cancer fracturing Rig's spine meant smiling became agonizing, let alone laughing. The once glamorous star was rendered helpless as a newborn. Her physical stamina deteriorated until the most minor exertions left her spent. She had to be aided, moving at a glacial shuffle. Staying alive required constant vigilance from Sterling, who slept fitfully to monitor Riggs' needs. Sterling likened her hyper-attentiveness to caring for an infant again. While devoted to her mother, even Sterling was unprepared for the grim realities of end-stage illness. She was shocked by the sheer intensity of Riggs' anguish, having promised years earlier she could ease her mother's passing when the time came. Confronted by the visceral horror of Riggs' disintegrating body, Sterling discovered she could not intentionally end the life of a mother she loved so dearly. Bittersweet Laughter in Her Final Weeks even while battling terminal illness, Rig faced death with the same verve and fearless wit that defined her life. She drew comfort from intimate family time, whether having her daughter Rachel gently bathe her or enjoying regular afternoon, quote, clinky drinkies together. Too weak for solids, she took childlike pleasure in yogurt smoothies Sterling would feed and dab to her cracked lips and mouth. Even when robbed of strength to speak by the cancer, Rig communicated through intensely meaningful glances alive with love, humor, and understanding. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Diana Rigg? And what are your thoughts about assisted death in the UK? Let us know in the comments section below.